Hey folks, Astro Diver number one. Uh, I'm just doing an update video on the Starlink system that we installed last November, so it's been almost nine months. Uh, I've been getting a few questions on the channel, you know, how's it doing after six months? Uh, how's it working so far? Stuff like that. So that's what this is about. If you saw the first video, you would have noted that I had temporarily had set up the Starlink on this pump house roof, close to six feet tall, pointed up in that direction. It ended up going on the roof of the house. You can see I just set it up on this roof peak right here. This is the furthest south I could get it without actually getting onto the screen room. Uh, again, you want this, you want a clear northern sky, so the further south you can get in a tree situation, the better. Another concern I had was with the heat in the summer. I installed it in November, so it wasn't that hot out, but here in North Florida, it's, uh, well, it's the rest of the world, it's been really hot. And, uh, I believe the dish is rated for 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, obviously it hasn't gotten that hot yet, or I have not been getting warnings about it, and the performance has been just fine. It's pretty simple. I just used uh, four kind of long wood screws and then some roof sealer around it. And uh, it's already been through a, a, one tropical storm at least, almost a category one hurricane, and made it just fine. You can see that's where it wants to be looking. And I just simply ran a wire down along the roof here which is being replaced and into the house there. And then down through this roof line here and then I drilled a, about a pinky size hole through the wall. I couldn't find any good split grommets so I had to make my own. And just through the wall here and then the router just sits on the other side of that. Pretty simple. So a quick speed test here. We're only about 15 feet away from the Wi-Fi. Remember last November we received this as a best effort. Uh, I believe back in April we were cleared for the full residential speed and honestly I don't really notice the difference. But here we go. Maybe I do. That's a lot faster than when it was best effort. <laughs> so 141 megabits per second on the download speed and the upload speed is 3.1 megabits per Per second uh, which is really slow for a lot of people but that's just fine for us so again like I said uh, we do have some obstructions at the north but you can see by Starlink's little obstruction map here uh, shown by the red it's not very much South doesn't matter, coming over to the west. Now we're starting to get some obstructions and then to the north. We got more obstructions, but they pretty much are at the low end. And then here you can see with the uh, network statistics that we've been obstructed for 10 seconds in the last 12 hours. No signal received for 13 seconds and network issues for another 10 seconds. So the obstructions are only about a third of the downtime in the last 12 hours. And again, we don't notice it. You might be noticing it if uh, you use like streaming or something like that. Again, the uh, Starlink likes to be pointed in a north to a northeast position. Uh, the dish pretty much stays in that position right there but it does move around from time to time but I would say 90% of the time it's pretty much pointed the way it is now 
Another thing that I thought would be an issue, turned out not to be an issue, is you know when it rains really hard, sometimes with a satellite dish, you'll, you know, you'll lose your TV reception or whatever, but that has not seemed to be a problem with Starlink. Well, all right, folks, that's about it. Um, everything's been working fine for the last nine months. No complaints whatsoever. And compared to what I had before, this is just a godsend. All right, folks, thanks a lot for watching my Starlink update video.